Speaking of cookies, there's a hot cookie. Oh, <laughs> Allie, uh, maybe you're going to... chewy. chewy you're going chewy. You know, this is 2023, yeah. right, Tom? Yeah. yeah. Allie, you know what my aunt would have called you? My aunt would have said if she'd seen her picture, because Allie is lovely. She, my aunt would have gone, well, she's a hot ticket. Oh, I like that. Would she? I like that too. I'll take it. Would your was your aunt? Yeah. Would she have said it in that cat-like way? <laughs> mm -hmm, yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because she's in New York and she's. Out there. Oh, the show where the show is sexy time. I love when old people yeah. have cute phrases. My grandpa would have called you mucho effable. <laughs> <laughs> he had a way with Oh, your, grand wow. your grandpa. Yeah, he was a very, very uh, <laughs> senile, old, way with words. dirty old man. Very poetic. He, he sure was, wasn't he? <laughs> if you want to reach Ellie, you go to A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N on your favorite social media platform and ask about your love troubles. We'll try to fix them on sexy time with Allie Breen. Hi, Allie. What do yes. you got? I uh, actually, you know what? I should start with a live question because I was just in Lexington, Kentucky. I met a lot of Bob and Tom fans, which was a lot of fun. So shout out to them for coming. Uh, you guys really have the best fans. And one guy wanted me to do a live question. He snuck away from his wife and asked me to ask, why is it that all the fun stuff, like the mm -hmm, stops when you get married, is it a female conspiracy or does each individual woman just decide to stop doing that? Huh. Yeah, uh, are we talking about I think a they, certain activity, yeah, I think one they, certain activity? I think probably. It sounds like he's talking about um, uh, the oral conversations, yeah, yeah, if you yeah, will. Yes. May I ask? Speaking into you, the mic, especially. Are you instigating it first, perhaps, so it's reciprocated? You know what I mean? Like, because uh, I don't think it goes away. Maybe it's just grossly unpleasant. <laughs> oh. You do pee out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I had someone who I was involved with legally tell me that one time. Wow. What? Uh, and there was ooh in there. That's, that's sexy. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe that's maybe it's that simple. I'm not sure if there's a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, tune in to uh, your local AM radio station to find out. Let's move on, Allie. What are, we got some real right. letters there. Dear Allie, I've been married for 33 years and I've never been in great shape, but I finally found something that works for me and suddenly I'm in the best shape of my life. My wife rarely wants to have sex, but we're still closest to friends. What are the chances she'll let me open up that sexual part of our relationship as I want to have sex with other people, but I love keeping her as a companion? <laughs> well, I mean, we, good luck. we can't speak to the chances. We don't know. I don't know how she feels, but, you know, Boy. maybe... This, this is the so-called open marriage. Remember, yep. there was a book called that? Maybe he should try romancing her. Maybe maybe she would be interested in him again. Right. Just kind of say what you just said to us. Like, yeah. hey, I want to do it. Yeah, but once, what you. if you open that box? And she, I mean, that is not something that can be shut again. That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, that is true. You um, mean her mouth. <laughs> 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 you can't unring that bell, can you? No. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, no. yeah that'll I come would, up after everything. If you want to start having sex up. again, I think I would start with her. I mean... Absolutely. Yeah. We need to know yeah. more facts. We need to know more facts. Are you going to say... Oh, go she, ahead. You're sick. I know what you're thinking. What does <laughs> she at look it. like? Look at it. Is she fat at all? Oh, yeah. There no, we go. no, no, no. There could be lots of other issues. <laughs> <laughs> she could be skinny and just, just a giant pain in the ass. No, he said he you likes know, her. Well, They're best of friends. Okay, great. And when you I'm think a good about it. I'm friends with all you guys. I'm not having sex with you. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> by the way, one of these days I'll get you. Thank you, Allie. We, <laughs> we had her bring that up just because we'd I'm all like to visual. ask you. We want to make a big monkey pile with all of it. <laughs> I don't think it is interesting, though. You can delegate the emotional part. Like, if, if he was like, I'm having problems, I can't talk to you about it, can I see a therapist? She'd be like, fine, but you can't delegate the sex part. If it's like, we're having sex problems, can I see someone else? All of a sudden, it's not right, right. cool. We had a news story. Logically. Um, remember this about the woman that... Um, uh, she was a, a former sex worker, and sh she would uh, she would bring couples together and... Yeah. She would demonstrate what with she would take the guy aside sure. and. Oh yeah. wow! It's so, an important thing for some couples. Yes. Yeah. 
I can see that becoming a disaster. <laughs> and I'm sure it can. What, the yeah. therapy part? I went to therapy last week. You couldn't make it, so <laughs> I, Ginger and I just knocked a few off. <laughs> a few. You're fine with that, right? Okay. One afternoon. <laughs> I, made, I made another appointment now for gonna, tomorrow. Now you're not going to be all <laughs> sad and start crying. You know, Ginger like said you would act this way. Yeah, I, I, I know you got to go to work tomorrow, but that was the only appointment you had available. <laughs> Man, they've been married 33 years. That's, oof. I don't know how you're going to get around this well, one, sir. Well, it's too long anyway. Get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Let's move on. Do we have another letter, Abby Allie? Cutting, we we got to try to help somebody today. Oh. <laughs> Dear Allie, my boyfriend and I are having an argument. He says that some sex stuff with strippers at a bachelor party is totally fine. It's expected and therefore not cheating. Some sex stuff. <laughs> like what sex stuff? She says anywhere up to handies, he says. Oh, up He's, to. He says she's already rubbing her ass and her boobs in your face. That's way more intimate than just doing a hand thing. I say he's crazy. Who's right? Oh, my God. Okay, so it sounds like handies uh, are in play here, right? Yeah. yeah. She, I think so. That was her yeah. idea, yeah. That he, yeah. I'm going to say, in my opinion, he's not correct. Uh, I'm what, surprised what, if you, you're if you, if, you, if you start getting to... Yeah, handies. Yeah, and there, he, that is cheating. Yeah. And there Absolutely. is a difference between rubbing something on you and grabbing your and, yes and trying yeah. to yes yes, yes. completing party exactly yes. yes. That isn't no, okay. I'm I, with her. She right. yes. I love cheating. that he just tried to tell you as a matter of fact, like what this is how it is. You're being nuts. Yeah. You're and crazy. also, ladies, this isn't how it is. Yeah. I've been to a lot of bachelor parties, and a lot of strippers will rub on you and grind right. on you. They don't do. They don't often go that next for, step. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So you saying he's asking for it? You reach some sort of other financial exactly. Range. Yeah. I, I don't know. So oh. and and then you're cheating. Yeah. Then you're taking it a step further. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, made her more upset. And then. it's illegal. Then it's just a Tom, business deal. Yeah. Tom, your thoughts on this? Uh, I do, I'm not a bachelor party guy. I haven't been to one in eight. The last one I went to were you there yes with the egg yeah i i, I walked with out. the egg <laughs> a lot happened at that bachelor party yeah the yeah. girl the lady with the egg and um she was all over the groom uh the groom's dad it was I, I i left after about 50 minutes i thought this is just and the guy was eating a sandwich when he was on the toilet yeah it was just awful it was know. something yeah. else had to yeah. no thanks yeah the, the movie oh. the movie bachelor party so Pretty much nails it yeah. Except yeah. for the donkey. We didn't have a donkey. Okay. <laughs> what was the egg lady doing? What um, was the egg part uh, of She it? was uh, giving birth to a... Well, she was make, uh, She was uh, serving hard-boiled eggs, if you will. And yeah, there were Without those, using her hands. There were those who were eating them. It was, wow. Uh, yeah, I... Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that is something. And they weren't... And, 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 <laughs> that is really, really something, isn't and, it? And, you know, I only eat the... the I know, told you. I only eat the free range. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't care, I don't the care where range. they've been. I, yeah, yeah, the free range. I don't want them to... I got enough problem with coming out of the chicken's ass. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I'm not going to... I can eat those things. Uh, Let's have one more story. What have you got over there, Allie? Dear Allie... My boyfriend is super hot, and her boyfriend is even hotter. Oh, sorry. My best friend is super hot, and her boyfriend is even hotter. Yeah. Her boyfriend has been flirty with me when no one else really flirts with me, and I feel like we're actually making a connection. Ugh. I started to feel guilty about it, but I can't really help it. So now I'm thinking maybe I'll try to suggest to them a threesome, but I don't want to make it weird. <laughs> or would that be hot? What should I do, and who should I suggest it to? Well, first off, it'd be crazy hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, three hot people having sex. That's hot. <laughs> but it's going to be weird. And, you're, up. and you're, yeah. they're not going to be your friends anymore. That's what, true. What, what, if they, what if they love the idea, well, Chick? Do you take the risk? It's too big of a change. Yeah, Chick, maybe it'll be a thruple. Well, you never know. I don't know. I would say go party with them, get drunk, and then ask it or suggest it. That way, if they get weirded out or your best friend gets weirded out, you can be like, I was just drunk. I didn't mean it. But then. That's perfect. Yeah. So you can get away with actually suggesting yeah. it. Okay. But it will still be weird after, no matter what. <laughs> hmm. Or maybe you and your best friend will hook up and stay together forever. What? <laughs> <laughs> they might find out they actually have feelings. Maybe it's her that she's actually attracted to, you know? That's true. Oh. Modern day romance. That's right. You never know. You never know. It is the yep. 90s. <laughs> 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 oh, Allie, let's squeeze in one more letter. We got to do something that we got to find a solution for somebody. <laughs> We've had okay, some dear solutions. Allie, my wife's friend is a masseuse and she just started her own business. I love massages. My wife hates to give them. So she actually encouraged me to go. I've gone once a week and it's amazing and it's only gotten better. The massage gets more intimate the more often I go. And the last massage I had, she licked me behind the knees. <laughs> 
What? It's the greatest thing I've ever felt. <laughs> These massages are starting to be all I think about throughout the week. Am I headed for trouble? Yes. We're technically not doing anything wrong, but do I need to stop? No, you're fine. Oh, that's a Keep going. <laughs> Being licked behind the knees is standard masseuse no, behavior. Oh and she's going to ask you to roll oh over. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, yikes. Whoa. Oh, man. So oh, that is not okay. You have to stop going to her. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to... Basically, your wife will eventually find out, and she's going to be mad at you, and she's going to ditch her best friend, and you're not going to be able to have massages anymore. Uh, this is weird. This is, yeah. Uh, or just ask your I've wife, hey, of- does your best friend lick you behind the knee a lot? <laughs> like, is that okay? No, is he going to have time to make it to practice for the Browns? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I see. Is that you're implying it's Deshaun Watson? <laughs> Sean Watson. Okay. No, no, he would have already, already gone for it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Allie Breen can be reached, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, uh, with your love troubles. Uh, today, a, a total failure. We did. We, yep. we yeah. were of no help. The but but then again, what do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> Allie, are you, uh, are you uh, I, can see, I can see you're in New York. Are you working this weekend? I am. I'm at Eastville Comedy and the Comic Strip this weekend. Oh, right. Eastville, is that on the east side? <laughs> it's no, it's actually in Brooklyn. Yeah, it used to be on the east side. It moved That's crazy, <laughs> by the Barclays right? Center. See, aren't you glad I yeah. asked? Yes. Thank you very I would much. have been on the east going, where the hell's east? That's right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Allie. Bye, Thanks, Allie. Guys. See you next week.